Retinitis pigmentosa Retinitis pigmentosa, RP, is a clinically and genetically heterogeneous group of inherited retinal disorders characterized by diffuse progressive dysfunction of predominantly rod photoreceptors with subsequent degeneration of cone photoreceptors and the retinal pigment epithelium, RPE. Visual impairment usually manifests as night blindness and progressive visual field loss. RP may be seen in isolation, typical RP, or in association with systemic disease. The term retinitis pigmentosa, RP, is semantically inaccurate in that inflammation, implied by the suffix itis, is not a prominent part of the pathophysiology of the condition. The disorder is actually a dystrophy or genetically determined degeneration and not an inflammatory disorder. Since RP is a collection of many different genetic disorders, the etiology is quite variable. However, the final common pathway appears to be photoreceptor cell death by apoptosis, rods followed by cones. There are no known risk factors for RP other than genetic predisposition. RP may occur as an isolated sporadic disorder or be inherited as autosomal dominant, autosomal recessive, or X-linked. Many cases are due to a mutation of the rhodopsin gene. RP may also be associated with certain systemic disorders which are usually autosomal recessive. There are many genes associated with RP for which a patient can undergo genetic testing. The pathophysiology of RP has been studied in several animal models. In the rat, retinal degeneration caused by the failure of retinal pigment epithelium to phagocytose the shed rod outer segment discs results in the accumulation of rod outer segment debris. In mice with homozygous recessive mutation for retinal degeneration, rod photoreceptors stop developing and undergo degeneration before cellular maturation completes. A defect in CGMP phosphodiesterase, which leads to a toxic level of cyclic guanosine monophosphate, has also been documented. This is also found to be true in some autosomal recessive models of the dog. It is unknown whether the defect in these animal retinal degenerations is the pathophysiologic mechanism of human retinitis pigmentosa. Since RP is a genetic disorder, there is currently no intervention that would prevent manifestations of RP. In general, the diagnosis of retinitis pigmentosa is established when the following findings are present. Bilateral involvement can be asymmetric, impairment of night vision and loss of peripheral vision, progressive loss in photoreceptor function. Rod dysfunction evidenced by elevated rod final threshold on dark adaptation and or rod responses on ERG testing that are either reduced in B wave amplitude and prolonged in implicit time or are essentially non-detectable, extinguished ERG. The classic clinical triad of RP is arteriolar attenuation, retinal pigmentary changes, could be either hypopigmentation and or hyperpigmentation in form of bone spiculin pigment clumpings, and waxy disc pallor. The characteristic pigmentary changes occur in the midperipheral fundus, which is predominantly populated by rods. There is often a high degree of symmetry in the fundus findings between the two eyes. Other common signs include vitreous cells, depigmentation and atrophy of the RPE posterior subcapsular cataracts, cystic macular lesions, and refractive errors including myopia and astigmatism. Patients typically present with night vision problems, unable to see in the dark or slow to adjusting to dark, progressive peripheral vision restriction, and tunnel vision at the later stage of the disease. It is rare for patients to lose all vision in both eyes. Full Field Electroretinogram, ERG ERG measures the electrical potential generated by rods and cones after a light stimulus and is essential in the diagnosis of RP. Dark adaptometry, DA, visual threshold is the minimum intensity of light that will stimulate the rods or cones to elicit a subjective response. Visual field, kinetic perimetry with Goldman perimeter characteristically shows a ring scotoma in the mid-periphery of the visual field. Visual field testing is useful in monitoring the progression of disease and document the status of legal blindness. Optical coherence tomography, OCT, 
OCT is a quick, inexpensive, and widely available tool to detect cystic macular lesions, epiretinal membrane, and vitreomacular traction syndrome observed in some RP patients with decreased central vision. Fluorescy and angiography, FA, FA may have a role in documenting the early deterioration of the retinal pigment epithelium and especially in female carriers of X-linked RP. Genetic testing can be helpful in confirming the diagnosis. Many treatments have been explored without proven benefit for the isolated forms of RP. These include various vitamins and minerals, vasodilators, tissue therapy with placental extract, cortisone, cervical sympathectomy, injections of a hydrolysate of yeast RNA, ultrasound, transfer factor, dimethyl sulfoxide, ozone, muscle transplants, and subretinal injections of fetal retinal cells. None of the above treatments were conducted in randomized, controlled clinical trials. It is important to note that anecdotal treatment with a subjective improvement of the visual function should be interpreted with caution due to fluctuation in visual acuity and visual fields in this disease. ERG is a better objective measure of remaining retinal function. Any potential therapy will likely require several years of follow-up to assess efficacy due to the nature of the slow progression of this disease. Controversies exist regarding the use of high-dose vitamin A, docosahexaenoic acid, DHA, and lutein to slow the progression of RP. Patients with RP would benefit from taking 12 mg of lutein per day in addition to 15,000 IU-D of vitamin A palmitate and weekly meals of oily fish, of which DHA is a major component. The precise mechanism by which vitamin A supplementation provides its benefit is not known. It has been speculated that vitamin A rescues remaining cones, thereby explaining how one supplement may help a group of patients with different rod-specific gene defects. Vitamin A may lead to an adverse effect on the course of RP by inhibiting the absorption or transport of vitamin A. DHA is thought to facilitate the release of vitamin A from its carrier protein, interphotoreceptor retinoid binding protein, in the subretinal space. Annual ocular examinations usually are sufficient to measure visual acuity and Goldman visual field. If medical treatment is initiated, more frequent visits and laboratory blood work may be indicated.